I think I'm not the only person who grew up with certain beliefs that were pushed on them that they kind of accepted. And I grew up in a house that believes that it's very sinful to be gay. It's very sinful to have premarital se premarital sex. The only way to have a good relationship is to be with a Christian. Um, the only way that it should be is that a woman should be submissive to a man. Because clearly, if you don't think the Bible is um, for women being subservient, then you've never read the Bible. And I grew up in a house full of people that actually read the Bible. And so um, I think that I grew up believing things should be a certain way. But um, even with my mom raising me the way I did, uh, I became an atheist. And I became an atheist who uh, was in a relationship with Taylor Swift. And um, she is who my mom would want me to be with. Like, if there's anything I know is that she's who my mom wants me to be with. Like, it would be, she would be who my mom wants me to be with. Um, and, it, like, and that's not because Taylor's a religious nut. It's just because she seems like she's palatable for religious nuts. Um, she doesn't have a bad word on, like, I don't know if she has any bad words on her songs. And, I'm not, and that's not a bad thing. I, I, I try not to put bad words on my songs. Uh, if you haven't noticed Glass Roads, uh, how often does it cuss? Probably only if I really want to. Um, or if I feel like I need to. All right, so um, all I'm saying is that we're raised thinking that like a family's supposed to look like this. If it doesn't look like this, then there's something wrong with it. And um, a relationship's supposed to look like this, and it, if it doesn't look like this, it's it's wrong. And um, I woke up this morning feeling kind of hungover, like oh god, it's like it's like you wake up the next morning when you when you've been drinking, and you're like, I can't believe I did that. And um, I kind of I kind of am like that because like doing the psyop stuff with um, with Satan like I can pull that off maybe with a psychiatrist but I'm believable with Taylor but part of doing psyops is being believable but it's believable because it's pretty true and um, when I first when I when I was first in a relationship with Taylor I didn't know that we had known each other since we were kids because the clone thing hadn't come up yet. And I thought that they just switched her out with this girl who looked like her when I was in college. And that the reason I knew her is because, like, I like she, they'd, like, bring her into town and switch her out with certain people. And I wouldn't even notice it. Or I'd meet her and I wouldn't even know it was the same person. Um, it wasn't until later till I, that I found out that we had this, like, thing since we were kids. And um, I don't know. Like, I know we're not going to be together, but, um, I don't know, I think I'm, I'm, I'm just, I, I need to, like, focus on what I'm happy about, which is um, the people I'm going to be with, which, we'll see what happens. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep my fingers crossed that at least I had a say in my life after I put in that much work for nothing, like, after I've sacrificed that much, after I, like, after I've been solo for that long, <laughs> yeah, I, I'm perfectly happy being alone, so, like. I would never be with people who are not going to make me happier than I am right now.